Hi everyone, it's Linda from Linda's Ease in Arlington Heights and my camera person, Debbie. Hello. Now, what we're doing today is talking a little bit about first some of the news. Um, we thank you again for all of the mass donations. You know, we had hundreds of masks today go over to Northwest Community Hospital for the Cancer Center. We're just thrilled about that, you guys. I, I can't even tell you how wonderful these uh, people are appreciative of it. And I also wanted to let you know that our service technicians who are the best, as you probably know, they do commercial as well as retail, and they are there. We have them socially distant. There's own, they're spreading out their time. And they are there because the uniform companies, the dry cleaners, and the household people that really need them for making these masks and they're doing We're uniforms. close to the public though. Yeah, yeah. The, we are close to the public, but you can call and set up an appointment where you can drop off your machine and then they will uh, sanitize it. You, you, they want you to wipe it down first and then they'll send it back to you and they'll talk to you about it and everything. So I want you to be aware there are people there to help you. Now, the. The next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go right away to the quilt of the day because I'm pretty excited about it. It is really a cool one. And the fabric is reminding us maybe a little bit about the summer and spring. And Debbie, do you want to tell us what so the name of this, this is? The actual pattern for the quilt is called From Dawn Till Dusk. And so you can kind of see what the color weighs. So this is a um, rifle paper company fabric collection called Amalfi, and it's RJR Fabrics that makes this fabric. It's beautiful, I've got some metallics in there. I actually made this one. It's a rectangular uh, cut in the diagonal across rectangles, and then they're just sort of mixed and matched in the color scheme of the pattern. And uh, it uh, was really fun to make. And on the back, what do we have again? That's oh, my favorite. Beautiful flannel. flannel. <laughs> okay. And I love the way the uh, that the was quilting. quilted. It's really, yeah. really pretty. Yep. Really, very, very pretty. Really fun. To so do. we do have a bunch of these uh, kits, actually. So and the pattern comes with it. The pattern right? comes with the kit. Absolutely, always does. All of our kits have patterns in them. Yeah. So when you see that, um, it should be online. So look for it because it really is um, beautiful. It, it, like everybody says, that's done. Mm -hmm. It just makes you feel happy. I love that fabric so much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the technique that we're going to talk about today and some of the product um, is going to be some of the crystal work. But before I get into that, oh, yeah. Debbie, I want to show them a little bit about what we did yesterday because I want to show you how we figure out what kind of stabilizers we use. This is the cherry wood fabric. Um, we worked on another. A video where we actually did I think you saw this little guy first and he was real cute the little raccoon and the first one I tried out it was a different one I put the uh, heat and stay tear away fusible tear away that is okay it does work but I will tell you because all of these designs and I'm going to show you as we go through them they're all line designs that could be really used in a quilt. In fact, we weren't sure if we were going to do it in a quilt. That's why we pre-washed everything or a table runner. And we still aren't quite sure. <laughs> no, but we'll get there. Yeah. But look at it. Aren't they fun? Any suggestions the uh, that you may have would be helpful. Very. <laughs> this one. What was should we make out of these, everyone? What should we make out of these? Tula has such really cool ideas that we put, instead of the scissors, we put our little cup in there. And I love this little one. Mm -hmm. So, Very pretty. so now all these colors are going to be joined with some sashing with this. And if you notice, these are all really pressed nice, and they look at how smooth they are. Mm -hmm. They're an outline stitching because you could really use them for a stitch in a quilt. But what we did, we used them as a decorative stitch because it'll be in the center of whatever we do, whether it's a table runner or a. Uh, a quilt. Um, I think we've got 10 here, so it'll be a you know lap, lap size. But I wanted to show you the difference. I don't know if you can get in to see this. I washed all the fabric because I wanted it to see. They look like soft flannel sheets. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful. It just feels so nice. But you see how wrinkled it is? Mm -hmm. Now, this is not wrinkled at all because I've already taken my trusty little spritzer and spritzed all of these after they came out of the um, dryer and everything, and they're just in perfect shape. So I really um, encourage you when you're doing something like that to use the best press. It's really great. And get yourself this little spritzer because it does, remember um, behind you, I don't know, if, remember the big gallon jug that I showed mm -hmm. you before? That's the best press. 
and uh, she, oh, she's going to be able to do one hand. That's good. <laughs> Thank oh, you. No, it's heavy. It's heavy. But you see what I do is I buy it like this, and then I take it and put it into this um, spritzer, and it's real easy to you know, undo it. And see, it comes mm -hmm. back down. And then you can, I'll spritz one for you on this. Mm -hmm. You can see. Mm. And it doesn't leave any blobs. That's what's mm -hmm. really cool about it. It just makes an all over um, mist. Yeah, you know, mist and really nice mm -hmm. to do. But we're not going to press it now, although I love my Laura Star, as you guys know. And um, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> oh, went around. <laughs> so now let's move over to what I'm going to do today. This is what we call Swarovski crystals. And many of you, if you know much about me, you know, I really do like these blings. We carry them in a three millimeter. Well, here, this is a three millimeter, if you can see. Mm -hmm. um, this is your, where's your four? We have a four. Uh, here's a four millimeter. I think right here is four, isn't it? That one? Uh, no, that's, that's three. A three millimeter. Oh, we have four. Uh, here's, here's a four right here. Okay. It's a little smaller. And then the largest one is your five millimeter. So well, there are various sizes, and it, one isn't better than the other. It's just what you want to do. Now, I have taken this jacket, you can see, and done quite a few of the, the uh, Swarovski on there. Isn't that cool? I just love it. I think it's really fun. It just gives a little bit of a, you know, an emphasis. And there's nothing in the back. It's just on the front. But you could. You could do whatever you mm -hmm. wanted to do with it. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, I am, I do a lot of this, but we have an expert in our store, Madeline. And if you've ever met her, see, I've already done this one right here. Mm -hmm. uh, Madeline is, um, has, she has two daughters that have been, uh, champions in uh, baton and twirling. They've won scholarships and everything. So think about it. She's had to do all these dresses with thousands of these crystals. So believe me, she's an expert on how to do this. So what do we do? Shout out. How do these happen? If you look again at this, um, the back of these, you see where it's kind of a coppery color? That's actually glue on the back of the crystal. And what happens when we take that crystal and I'll take, uh, I'll take a little small one here. This is a real tiny little blue one. And I'll put it up there. And do you see how small it is? Oh, you probably can't even see it. It's yeah, right we can. here. Okay. That has actually glue on the back. And I am going to take this wand that is um, been hot. It's plugged in. And I'm just going to touch it on there and hold it on for a minute. Now, these are harder to do because they're real small. And I don't remember if this was my small. Yeah, this was my small wand. What do you think I have underneath here? Normally, I would have, you couldn't do it on your wood table because the wood table would, it would get too hot. And you see, I only did that for about 10 seconds. You see how it stays? Yes. Real nice. Look at, can you see what I've got underneath? The mat. The, of my pressing, wonderful pressing mat. Pressing mat. I will tell you guys, this is the first time, well, I've done this before today. But I always, in the past, had always had to find a ceramic counter or, you know, something that would be hard. Well, these mats are perfect. I, I don't know. All these years, I don't know why I hadn't used them. And it's a new tip, and I'm loving it. So <laughs> let me show you a couple of others. I'll take one of the four millimeters, maybe. And these tweezers are absolutely wonderful. You see the back? It's got the glue. This is the first here, and I'm going to do this all over the place. So uh, again, this is a smaller one. I'm going to take this one and put this one on. The, you see the little head on here? Wait, oops. You see that? Oh. That's real hot. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to touch that. And I'm just going to... With your fingers. Anyway. Right. And I'm just pressing it down. And I hold it about 10 seconds. And then when I'm through with that um, press, that glue has melted. And now you can see, I'm not going to touch it yet because it's still a little hot, but see how that is not moving at all? Mm -hmm. That's and all what there is, is this, to it. What is this embroidery design that you are putting these beautiful crystals on? This is on? called the Free Spirit from OESD. It is on our website. I know at one point we even had a kit with all the threads on it. I don't know if there's any of those left, but um, you can go onto our website and just click on it or call the store between 10 and 4. Again, we're not open uh, but these dedicated people are there for all our online business, which we are pretty large in. And, of course, they're loving it that they've got a job. And we're thanking you guys. I mean that sincerely. It's uh, been incredible what Absolutely. they're doing. Yep. So um, try this. If you have never used these before. Now, 
maybe I'll take, well, I did take the real tiny one, so <laughs> you can kind of see. See the difference? This little one up here by this arrow. Mm -hmm. See with on these tweezers. I see how pointed they are. They're mm -hmm. phenomenal. And these are Mary's favorite tweezers. Test, test, tube, test tube tweezers. Test tube tweezers, she calls them. It's in a little, um, I'll show you in a minute. This is your four millimeter, and this is your five millimeter. So I would just take a variety. That's what I do. I have a variety of them. I have an old plastic box that I keep them in. But this is the um, the test tube. Tweezer. Yeah, uh, tweezer <laughs> that, you know, you can put in. Because they are so sharp, they're absolutely wonderful. Look at how I picked that up. Ooh. I mean, that little tiny thing like that. Mm -hmm. As long as I picked it up, I think I'll just take it over here. And now well, this is a little red, so maybe I'll put that on there. Mm -hmm. And it will, just that little bit of glitz will be amazing when we start to use it. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the last thing that I sometimes forget about is what I'm wearing. I was about to ask you, what are you wearing? That's <laughs> well, funny. this is one of the Indian um, reversible jackets. Well, this is actually, um, I bought it for can someone else. Some but of the... Can you see the stitching in there? Yeah, so it's Beautiful. a little bit big for me, but it's it's fun. It's It mm -hmm. looks like a quilter's looks really vest, nice. doesn't it? <laughs> yep. And then we yeah. forgot to talk about the one you were wearing yesterday, the which is right behind you. I, in fact, a couple of you mentioned it. Thank you. I won't say your names, but I probably mm -hmm. should. But thank you for mentioning it. These are all hand-stitched, and this is what we do with that fabric that we... I, I have saved, I think I bought four or five of those quilts. You could use them as a quilt, but that's what this was made out of. And look at the inside. Do you see, it's really reversible. Mm -hmm. You could really, would see how the label is, I mean, the uh, binding is put on here. So it really could be a fun jacket that yep. you could do an awful Very lot great. with. Again, all hand stitched, really, really cool stuff. So um, hopefully that gives you a little bit of information. Now, I also had people asking me about the, their favorite foot. And we have one of our absolutely dedicated loyal em employees, Caroline. Caroline. Yeah, and Caroline is at home. And we are, I told you we were going to kind of feature everybody what they're doing. Caroline's doing a tremendous amount mm -hmm. of work on our online work. But she also is doing some sewing. So Caroline, can you show them what the your favorite foot is for your burning? All right, take it away, Caroline. Bye. Hi, it's Caroline. In between helping remotely, I get to do some of my favorite things. Um, I get to cook and I get to do some sewing. And I wanted to tell you about my favorite foot from Bernina. It's the number 10. And the reason it's such a good foot is that it has a flange down the center so that I can be doing top stitching and know I'll get a consistent, perfect line of stitching. So on my table runner that I'm making, I want this top stitching to be perfect. And this number 10 foot is giving exactly what I need. I have a beautiful, consistent top stitch. And pretty soon my table runner will be all finished. Now anybody who was at the Bernina Creative Studio will recognize this. And I am trying to have it done before we would have had the next studio this Wednesday. Now I have to go back to maybe one of my not so favorite things and clean the house. <laughs>